This is the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series. And in this video, we are going to go over analysis questions. So as you prepare for the GED Science Test, for the GED Social Studies Test, even for the Reasoning Through Language Arts Test, this type of question skill is something that's going to serve you as you go through and prepare to take and pass these tests. So let's jump in. The very first thing you want to do on these tests when you come against an informational graphic like we have here on the screen is you want to jump into the chart first. You want to make sure you understand. So you want to look at the title, Wayne County Animal Population, seasonal, okay? So this is animal population in this particular county. It's seasonal. Then you look at the legend here. This is uh, uh, spring. This is summer. Purple is fall and black is winter. And then you want to come over here and look at the X and Y axes. On the X axis, you have the type of animal, a deer, a boar, a turkey, and a mountain lion. And then over here on the Y axis, you have the population count or the number. So 200, 400, and all the way up to 1,000. So now you know that you're looking at a chart that's talking about Wayne County uh, and that's looking at the various uh, population of certain animals during certain seasons. That is key. Key. It is so key to understand and know that before you move on. Now, then you come over here and you start looking at uh, uh, the question. So what phenomena below likely? Now, this word here, likely, is very important. Um, let me actually even emphasize it with a little bit of highlighter. So this word likely here is very important because... <clears throat> It doesn't mean that it's for sure 100%. It's not a factual-based question, but it's it's based upon the information that you've been given here and the question that you're being asked here, what's most likely. So what phenomena below likely explains the reduction in turkey population between the fall and winter? So we're going to come over here to the chart, and we're going to look at the turkey population, and we're going to look at fall is purple and winter is black. So uh, in the fall... It's somewhere about maybe 300, maybe 325, because 400 in, is here and 200 is here. So it looks to be a little bit more half than up the way here. So that's over 300. So just say about 325. So I'm just going to mark that here. So let's just say that's about 325. And then right here, we have uh, the black or winter, just a little bit above 200 here. So let's just call that 225. And this is just getting in our mind setting so there's been a 100 uh uh turkey uh decline between these two seasons now so here are our answers disease okay that's one thing but you don't really have any information here that really speaks to disease so we're gonna not really think about that one right now hunting well that's certainly um the case um, because we know that turkey season uh, tends to be in the this part of the year. Why? Because on Thanksgiving, at least in the United States of America, uh, we celebrate Thanksgiving and we need turkeys for our turkey and Thanksgiving dinner. And so that could certainly be a reason. So we're going to uh, give that a positive mark. Uh, we're going to say, yes, that's a good one. But let's keep on going down. Migration. Now, migration is a very pop. A possible answer too, because the turkeys could have just simply migrated. But um, we don't specifically know that it's a good answer. But but when you think about it, you don't have anything here giving you any information about turkeys and migration. And then it only dropped by a hundred. So if you think about migration, it starts off as a good answer. But when you really start thinking it through. Well, then why didn't more turkeys migrate? So that's what I'm going to call a borderline answer, that it has some merit, but not total merit. Okay, and then the last one is weather. Well, we don't have any uh, information about weather. And this is really what you're looking at on the test. There are two questions that you can out of the box say no. So we don't have enough information to say anything 
about disease or weather. But then there's going to be two answers that both have merit. And when you're looking at the word likely, you're looking at the one that has the most merit. So the one that has the most merit is hunting because there is a significant reduction. But, you know, there's good hunters, but maybe they're not going to wipe out the whole population. Um, you know, maybe, maybe there are laws that limit the amount of turkeys that can be shot. Um, but then this migration here is borderline because if, 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 a, if a bird pattern migrates, you would see a much larger decline. So again, on the test, you're going to have two answers <clears throat> that are just don't have any merit or very little merit. And then you're going to have two one that has more merit, which is the cor the correct answer, and one that has some merit, but it's borderline. If you begin to think it through, um, it, it begins to fall down. And so this is the skill. This will help you as you prepare to take uh, the, the test, because as you're thinking through the questions, what I've just exampled and uh, modeled for you here in this video, this is what you need to be thinking about. Uh, if you like videos like this, please like uh, this video. If you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe. And then also in the uh, description of this video, there is a worksheet uh, that you can use to give you a little bit more based upon what you just saw in this video. Thank you.